For they said, Almighty is come into the camp. And they said, Woe unto us, for there had not been such a thing heretofore. Woe unto us, who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty Elohim? These are the Elohim that smote the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. Be strong and quit yourselves like men, O ye Philistines, that ye may be servants unto the Hebrews. As Mother, they have Mother, God, stop. And the question is that how does this affect me now? That a man of God will be shouting and making emphasis. The Lord appeared to Samuel and Shiloh. The Lord appeared to Samuel and Shiloh. How does this confirm and concern the new creation now in this dispensation? By this activity, I call it the scam of all time. By this activity, this 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 activity, men have been scammed from year to year to year to year. Continuous scamming. They will collect the little you have and tell you the Lord appeared to Samuel and Shiloh. How does this come? Am I Sam? First of all, is my name Samuel? Am I Israel? How does this concern me? Hmm. Now, the third thing we are looking at the characteristics of dispensation. Does dispensation of characteristics? Yes! There must in the, in the characteristics, there must be a revelation and instruction. Mm -hmm. And there must be a custodian of that revelation, mm -hmm. that instruction. There must also be an audience to hear that instruction mm -hmm. for that revelation. Mm -hmm. There must also be a destination. Mm -hmm. For every dispensation, you must find these characteristics. Mm -hmm. There must be what? A revelation, which is an instruction. There must be a custodian of that revelation or instruction. Now, for instance, in the dispensation of the God of the law, now there was a revelation, an instruction. What is the instruction? What is the instruction? The instruction was the law. Mm -hmm. Now, there was a custodian of that revelation. Who is the custodian of that revelation? Moses. Mm -hmm. There's also an audience for that revelation. Who is the audience for that revelation? Israel. Just like Saul was talking to Israel. Mm -hmm. The time of Saul was the time of the prophets. Mm -hmm. And Israel was the the audience. Yes, now, after that, they must have a destination. What is the destination of the revelation? The promised it's to land. Take it to the promised land. Mm -hmm. Now, bringing it now to grace, okay. to the gospel of grace, there is a revelation. Mm -hmm. What is that revelation? The hidden the mystery. That was hidden in ages past. Mm -hmm. No one that possible in the prince of this world that know the one that Christ the Lord glory. It was hidden, it was not revealed. Mm -hmm. There's a revealed truth, there's a hidden truth. Mm -hmm. the, the revelation is the hidden truth, which was revealed to Apostle Paul, which is the chief custodian of that revelation. Mm -hmm. Now, who is the custodian of that revelation? Apostle Paul. It was given unto him. Mm -hmm. And now there's also an audience for that revelation. Mm -hmm. The audience now is who? The Gentile. The Gentiles, for the Gentiles to be accepted in the beloved. Mm. The gospel was to make the Gentiles acceptable in the beloved. And now what is the destination of that revelation? Heavenly places. Heavenly places. Hallelujah. You can see the distinctive distinction about mm. this. If you take it to the, if you take it to now the prophets, you can also arrive at a conclusion. Mm. This is the parameter by which you judge a scripture. Because remember, we tell you that any scripture here, who is it speaking to? Am I in the audience? Does it concern me? Amen. Now, what dispensation are we in? We talked last week in the dispensation of the grace, gospel of the grace of God, which is under faith. We discussed that. And when did that dispensation start? We say it started with Apostle Paul. That dispensation started with Apostle Paul. We looked at the book of 1 Timothy 1, 15 to 16, and Ephesians 3, 3, 7 to. Want to read that scripture because of time? Okay. Let's look at 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy. Chapter 1, 15 to 16. The dispensation of the gospel of grace started with Apostle Paul. Okay. First Timothy chapter mm -hmm. 1 from verse 16. 15 to 16. 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation mm -hmm. that the Messiah Yeshua came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Although for this cause I obtained mercy that in me first, Yahushua the Messiah might show forth. In all me God. first! I hear you, sir. It started with Apostle Paul. First! For a pattern to them which should 
For a pattern. In me first, for a pattern. Mm. So he's number one, the chief. Now, when will this dissension end? Romans 11, 25. Romans 11, 25. Romans 11, no, we'll look at 1 Corinthians 15. Let's take 1 Corinthians 15, mm-hmm. 51 to 52 first. Okay. Then that scripture, they can look at it like the Berean Christian at home because of time. 1 Corinthians 15, 51. 15, 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. Mm. We shall not all sleep, mm. but we shall all be changed. Mm. In a moment, mm. in the twinkling of an eye, mm. At the last trump, mm. for the trumpet shall sound, Hallelujah. and the dead shall be raised, Galaba. incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For Continue. this corruptible mm. must put on incorruption, mm. and this mortal must put on immortality. Mm. So that this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, mm. and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death have is swallowed up in victory. victory. This dispensation of grace will end when we live here. We will check out of here. No wonder the Bible said in, in the book of Romans, until, Romans 11 25, yeah. until the fullness of the Gentile yeah. coming. When the fullness of the Gentile coming, according to Romans 11 25, the door is closed and we move on. So that the next thing we are discussing now is based on the characteristics of dispensation. Who is a steward of this dispensation? Based on what we have talked about, Apostle Paul is a steward of this dispensation. You can look at the book of mm, Romans 11, 13, 1 Corinthians 4, verse 1, 1 Corinthians 9, 17, Galatians 1, 15 to 16, Galatians 2, 9, and Acts 20, 24. This will all the scriptures pointing to Apostle Paul. He said, I'm the chief of this dispensation. He is a steward of this dispensation. Now, the last, lastly, how does dispensational knowledge matter or how does this general matter to you? What is important? It gives you knowledge, the ability to identify your message and right division. Without dispensational knowledge, my brother, my sister, mm. you'll be lost. You follow somebody and go and give sacrifice and be giving vow this December. The time you use and take care of your children, still money, somebody is telling you to give vow and sacrifice. Vow to who? God. Listen. The greatest offering that was ever given before the Messiah King was that of Solomon. If your own cannot surpass Solomon, don't try it. No man has ever given what Solomon gave. And after that, the Messiah gave his blood, the spotless blood. And you cannot compare the blood of the Messiah to offering, to sacrifice and seed and vows. It is madness. It is a scam. The man that is telling you that uh, you have never asked for money is because you are giving him. How can somebody tell you that um, I was I was in a, I was in a wedding today? Um, um, I was I went to a wedding, and some people were preaching. Is um, uh, one one wedding in Potakwe in a communal centre, and the man who was preaching, he said you should um, so he was talking about kingdom investment. So in the, what what am I doing with kingdom investment? <laughs> What's mean of that? <laughs> they don't so kingdom God not bless you. How? Which kingdom? The kingdom I'm going to heavenly places. I don't need it. He's taking care of already. I don't need any. I don't need all that. Hallelujah. It is very important. Hallelujah. So now, remember we said something. The consequences of the aspects of dispensation. Uh-huh. Wrong doctrine. Uh-huh. Wrong message. Uh-huh. From wrong message. That's where you get deliverance. And all those plenty, plenty issues that you get. Now, is Yahweh a dispensationalist? The last thing, before I leave for Pazakudu, is Yahweh, you no, know, I said the consequences of absence of dispensation. One, you have wrong doctrine, wrong message, you enter deliverance, wrong interpretation, you be paying tithes, offering, vow, shiloh sacrifice, and all those things are included. Then, lastly, is Yahweh a dispensationalist? Yes, he is. How? Hebrews chapter 1, 1 to 3. And I close with that. Yahweh is a dispensationalist. I leave the floor for Pazakudo. Hebrews chapter 1, 1 to 3. Let's look at that scripture so that I can handle that Yahweh is a dispensationalist. Yahweh is a dispensationalist. Hebrews chapter 1. Yes. Yahweh is a dispensationalist. Hebrews chapter 1. Almighty who at sundry times mm-hmm. and in diverse manners mm-hmm. spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made. In time Lord. past he was speaking by the prophet, now he's speaking by the son. Mm. So he's a dispensationalist. Yahweh is progressive. 
progressive revelation. Yeah. So I don't see any reason why you should not move as your father moves. Hallelujah. What is not for you is not for me. Hallelujah. I beg you, it's not my thought, but I feel pain. Just imagine I was watching one of the programs. Mm. After the man said all these things, <laughs> he now called for altar call. <laughs> he was talking about money, she lost sacrifice, oh, vow, title. I'm not really listening. Listen, it's very important. You say, what? After saying all these things, he now did altar call. And the people came out in their droves. Do you know what he said? Say after me. Lord Jesus, I accept you. I confess. Now you are born again. Glory, hallelujah. In the heaven, is, heaven has not rejoiced for a very long time. Because sinners are not repenting. They say it, there is joy in heaven when one sinner repents. Sinners are not repenting because the gospel that will give them salvation is not being preached. So nobody should deceive you. Heaven is not rejoicing. Heaven is not rejoicing. This means your bank account. See, let, they will know it when they will get to, they will get to it. They will know. <laughs> Listen, they will know it. I know they will get. They will if if they say they are not aware. Let's not fine. About them. But the judgment of Yahweh. Let's talk about no wonder the Bible says to start from the church. In fact, let me leave that. It, 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 it is sad. <laughs> okay, let's. I I grab one thing. You define every law at the beginning of this your preaching. Every law derives its validity from the Constitution. Yes. Let me paraphrase here. Every dispensation derives its validity from the Constitution or instruction. Mm. You get me? Every dispensation derives its validity from the instruction that Yahweh has given. Last week, I said, let us do a simple exercise. I said, open your book, your scripture from... Acts chapter 9, Acts chapter 9 to the book of Philemon. The book of Philemon. Hold it, hold it, hold it, Philemon. Okay? And why is this important? I didn't say it last week. Do you know that the Bible that you have in your house, you have in your hand, is not divided between Old Testament and New Testament. There, there. Do you know? Do you know that know. this Bible that we are holding is not divided between Old Testament and New Testament? Is here? Based on the revelation that we have heard from Barrister, the Scripture is divided between prophecy and the mystery. The long and short. The mystery. Is what you are holding from Acts chapter 9 to the book of Philemon. Mm. If you remove the mystery, you wouldn't know what Yahweh is doing, the instruction that Yahweh is doing today. Sure. So you are not going to be able to do what Yahweh would like you to do mm. or know to know how to respond to him. Mm. So the Bible is not divided between Old Testament and New Testament. Yes, sir. Rather, it is divided between prophecy and mystery. mystery after the mystery program as barrister has narrated when we are raptured out of here if you are sure the lady if we do, the, do not die then do you know what will happen the prophecy will continue from where it stopped yahushua stopped do you know that if you say that the bible is divided between old testament and new testament do you know where your Old Testament started from? Exodus chapter 19. Mm -hmm. It was when Yahweh entered into agreement with, with Israel. Israel. Exodus chapter 19. The Old Testament did not start from Genesis. Genesis. But prophecy started from Genesis, Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. That mm -hmm. was when the first prophecy was revealed. Mm -hmm. And it ends all the way to the book of Revelation. Do you know also that the promise that was given started even before the law as Barista narrated? Yes. The promise was given to Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, verse Genesis chapter 12. Mm. But the law, the covenant, entered in when? In Exodus chapter 19. Mm. Very, very important. The Messiah. The first, uh, uh, the first testament did not stop until 
the death and the resurrection of Yahushua. Mm -hmm. Barrister, you know, <clears throat> if I have you as my lawyer mm. to write a will for me. The will speak when you are dead. The will cannot be read as unless as I am dead. Mm. When Moses enacted the law that was given to him in Exodus chapter 19, what did he do? He took the blood of the sacrifice and said, this is the blood of the agreement that you made with Yahweh, your Elohim. Mm. Yahushua, before he died, said the same thing that this is the blood of the new covenant which the father has made with you before he died mm. in the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. So when we think or when we say the New Testament, the New Testament, the Old Testament, your Old Testament did not end until the death of Yahushua. Mm. Because it so, was the ambulatory. Yes. And that means the Old Testament did not end until the end of Matthew, the end of Luke, uh, Mark, the end of Luke, and the end of John, the book mm. of John. And the New Testament will not start until he resurrected. Mm -hmm. Look at the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9. So this one is no good here. Hebrews chapter 9. It's all called Kakoros. Spiritual Kakoros. Verse 15. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, whose death? Yahushua. Mm -hmm. For the redemption of the transgression that were under the first testament, that means the law, <laughs> they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. Sorry. For a testament is of first after men are dead, otherwise it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. Whereupon neither the first testament was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people, According to the law, he took the blood of the calves. These calves were not just like one. So he killed them, the blood came out. Yeah. And of goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament which Almighty had enjoined unto you. So what are we saying? The mystery program is what is now running if you want to find what Yahweh is doing, as the barrister has spoken, we go to the mystery program, which is committed, the revelation now is the revelation of the mystery. Look at Romans chapter 16. Romans chapter 16. Come with me to Romans, the book of Romans chapter 16, verse 25. Romans 16, 25. Now to him that is of power to establish you. That means for me to be established in this dispensation, uh -huh. according to my good news, according to my gospel, and the preaching of Yahushua the Messiah, uh -huh. according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began. Kept secret since the world began. 26. He said, but now he's made manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophet, according to the commandment of the evangel evangelizing Elohim, made known to all nations for the obedience of the faith. For a man to be obedient today is not whether you travel uh, one million miles, I don't want to know. It is not about any man telling you. For you to be obedient, your obedience, obedience produces righteousness. For you to be righteous, based on what we read in Romans chapter 3 from 21, that now, but now the righteousness of Yahweh, the almighty Yahweh, without the law is made manifest being witnessed by the law and the prophets. The obedience of faith is according to the revelation of the mystery gospel. This is one other important thing that we need to say about the mystery and the uh, prophecy. The prophecy has been revealed from the foundation of the world. How do you know the difference? Yes, sir. Everything about the prophecy has been revealed from the, the foundation prophets. of the world. Come with me to Luke chapter 1, verse 70. Luke chapter 1, 70. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, 
which have been world began, which have been since the world began. Luke 1 17. Come with me to Acts chapter 3, the book of Acts chapter 3. From verse 20, it says, from 20 says, uh -huh. And he shall send the Yahushua the Messiah, uh -huh. which before was preached unto you, uh -huh. whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, uh -huh. which Elohim has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. You see, there are certain things that have been revealed from since the world began. From the time since the world began, and this that is known as prophecy but look at the mystery program has been what the mystery program has been kept secret the since world. the world began two different things look at the book of colossians i will stop there so that we can take calls for questions colossians chapter one the book of colossians chapter one from verse 25, wherefore, no, uh, 24. On, now, on, now, who now rejoice in my suffering for you mm -hmm. and fill up that which is behind of the affliction of the Messiah in my flesh mm -hmm. for, the whole, for his body's sake, which is the assembly, whereof I am made a minister according to the stewardship of Elohim, which is given to me to you to fulfill the word of Elohim. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Mm -hmm. And read 27. To, he, to whom Elohim will make known unto him the riches of, his, of, riches of the honor of his mystery among the Gentiles, which is a, the Messiah in you, the hope of glory. We have given you some nuggets. Even if it is one, but we know that every Saturday when we come here, we give you nuggets that you take home. This is the one we, I have added on my side. Barrister has added many. Here we are saying that there is a difference from revelation revealed from the foundation of the world. And there are revelations that are kept from the foundation of the world. You know, um, as you're speaking, and I'm following you through scripture, you could see that I was worried. My face, my, my, I'm worried deep down in my spirit because of it is. I'm letting my spirit to see this. There are people listening to us that have been where we are listening. They told you last year, they have been telling you to have faith. Have faith for scams. Have faith to give them your house, to give them your car, to do all these things. And you have done it, thinking that God is MMM. That when you do A, He will do B. You have had faith for these things. Wait. You, uh, faith is an object. They have taught you faith, weak faith, strong faith. This left faith, have increased your faith and all that. This thing, brother, sister, this guy is asking. You study the word for yourself. Please, I beg you in Yahushua's name. A lot of people are under this oppression of this evil and wicked man. I don't know if they know what they are doing and they are continuing to do it and they are continuing doing them. But if you keep quiet and keep silent, you are listening to us, you are listening to us from, the, from your bedroom. And yes, you are laughing, you are celebrating and you, you know the truth. And you don't share it to the next man. You are as worse as they are. Because it is important we teach those that can teach others. It is important you, we teach those that teach others. This thing you are hearing, please, help. Ensure that your neighbor hears with you. Get a video, get a brother, get a sister because it is important. A lot of people are dying hearing the wrong gospel, the wrong gospel, the wrong message, the wrong scripture. That's why our nation is sinking down every day with the level of prayers we are praying. Is it that the God in Dubai is even the God in Nigeria? Think, let your brain think. You know, the devil has us where he wants us to be. And with this man. Teaching the wrong gospel. He knows that that gospel will not bring light to man, to Africa, to Nigeria. So he supports them in what they are doing and keep us in constant darkness. Darkness is all what he wants. The devil, remember, we said something last week. If the priests of this world are known, they won't have crucified the Lord. Now they know that as they crucified him, this had happened. What would they do? They will ensure you remain in darkness. And this darkness, this man has kept you in darkness. They have both Financial prosperity is wonderful, but it's not a yastic righteousness. Righteousness, it's a contentment, 
is great gain. The scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes that says that it's better for me to have a handful and have rest of mine than to have those plenty and don't know where I'm going. Eternity is key. Heaven is important. How you get there, that is not the message of salvation. What we are telling you here is the message of salvation. From scripture, if it means anything to you, pay attention and ensure you make our time to come to the Bible school. Yahweh has come to your bedroom now. You don't have an excuse. That's my position. No, no, yeah, the time, because uh, there is something I would have loved to talk about. A man, which I discussed with you in time, we are very, uh, a man tried to use uh, 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 Galatians chapter 5 from 16, which I will talk about next week, to scam and holding some family that I know hostage. Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16, That's the you. works of the flesh. You so, you know, that if you are in the flesh, this is the work of the flesh. And this, the work of the, 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 the fruit of the spirit. This man is trying to tell these people that he has in bondage that he is the spirit. And they are in the flesh. So if they want to go to heaven, if they want to make it, then they must walk in the spirit. So next week, mm -hmm. I will add, this is the meaning of the flesh and the, the spirit. spirit. A lot of people don't know that. What is the difference? All right, we have barely nine minutes to do this, so keep your calls as snappy as possible. Let's see how many calls we can take between now and the end of the show. Phone numbers to call 0908 1855 966. That's 0908 1855 966 or 0902 2917 917. That's 0902 2917 917. And finally, 0704. Yes, good evening. We can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. 